Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here, and this is Borderlands 2. And uh, I want to say thank you very much if you are watching this, because you've probably already watched about 600 Borderlands 2 videos already. So I appreciate that, gotta be honest. And a uh, cool little fun fact is that this game was actually made by Gearbox, which is the developer that made the Half-Life expansion. So if you're watching my channel, uh, you'll know that that's pretty cool to me. I'm going to jump right in and I'll talk about some things as we get going, but I want to get you guys through so, the character screen, etc, etc. Huh? And I'll be quiet well, while he talks. The fate of Pandora hangs in the balance. If not, too bad, I'm telling you anyway. <laughs> First, there was the vault. An alien prison opened with a mystical key. To the warriors who opened it, the vault was just a container of tentacles and disappointment. Yeah, so I hear. They vanished into the wastelands, certain that the vault held no treasure at all. They were wrong. The vault's opening triggered the growth of Iridium, a priceless alien element. Hmm. Soon, the rare and valuable mineral emerged all across Pandora. Its appearance attracted many, including the Hyperion Corporation. They came to Pandora to mine Iridium and bring order to the savage planet. Through their excavations, Hyperion uncovered evidence of an even greater vault. Their leader vowed to find it, to use its power to civilize the Borderlands once and for all. But Hyperion weren't the only ones searching for the next vault's alien power. The call of danger and loot is not so easily resisted. Certain warriors came to Pandora in droves to uncover its hidden secrets. Some would call them adventurers. Others call them fools. But I call them vault hunters. Oh yeah, baby. Our story begins with them. And with a man named Handsome Jack. He's pretty handsome. I'll give him that. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, this intro looks familiar. Let's see what they do with it. <laughs> cool. Here it comes. Ooh. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> That's awesome. If you guys are wondering, like, where's Linus117 and where's King's Entourage? Because I said we're doing co-op. Well, Linus doesn't get the game until uh, Thursday at midnight. Or Friday morning at midnight, however you look at it. Because he's in Europe, so... Uh, Europe has to be extremely patient to get games, apparently. And that's when we'll be starting the co-op. So for this game, uh... Oh, hoo, 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 look at that. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a good way to get you psyched up to play a game, for sure. I definitely recommend you guys set the vibe. And what I mean by that is... Turn up the tunes, turn down the lights. Start rocking out. Hey, hey, there they are, everybody. Oh, that's a sick little turret. That guy's name is uh, Axton, I think. Yeah, there we go. Axton the Commando. That's not who I'm picking, but very cool nonetheless. This is the siren chick, I believe. Oh yeah, this phase lock looks pretty baller. And then the gun zerker. <laughs> he looks like he'd be fun to play too. Salvador. He's got a band-aid on his nose, nice. And here's Zero. This is who I'm gonna be. Sniper, up close, get out of there, invisible, hologram bullshit. 
That's what I'm talking about. Look at this! <laughs> How can I not pick that now? Z zero as a number. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. But you're not. <laughs> Welcome to Pandora, kiddos. He's. Oh shit. <laughs> For some reason, right there, it just reminded me of the first opening scene of uh, Uncharted 3, I think it is. Or 2, maybe? I can't remember. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna be Zero. And, uh, name. Oh, I could put in whatever I want, so I better put my own. There we go. Skin. Oh, cool. So, just a little bit of a heads up is that I actually never finished the first Borderlands. I actually only played like a couple hours of it. I bought it and then I just wasn't into it, but... Okay, I want to go like all black here, kind of. This looks like um, Mass Effect style. I'm, I'm going to rock that. And the head. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, actually, the first one's kind of cool, too. I'm actually gonna- I'm gonna stick with the first one, because I think a lot of people are gonna pick some crazy get-ups, and, uh... I think I'm gonna stick with the original for right now. So, uh, let's start rocking and rolling. So, anyways, the story in the first one, from what I- From what I understand, is that, look, there's this vault. You guys, go get this treasure. Okay, we go there. Another dead vault hunter. Handsome Jackson, busy. I'll carry on after this. Clappy trappy. What is up, my friend? Wait a minute. You're not dead. Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am a CL4PTP steward boss. Sensitive. But my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive, or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got <laughs> something for you. Here, take this echo communicator that I totally didn't loot from one of these corpses. It comes with a class 12 heads up display, complete with a mini map. I like the kind of sarcastic okay, humor. Right? Let's get you inside. I love that actually, it's really Man, cool. This is great. Now that I've met a mighty bolt hunter, I can finally join the resistance in Sanctuary. Take cool. And repair my central processor so I stop thinking out loud. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to have a belly button. <laughs> what? Fuck, I don't know either. I don't have a belly button. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. So, before I go any further, I do want to thank. I do want to thank YouTube user Little Dorgan. That's little D O R G A N. Uh, she actually gifted this game to me for no reason. And I really appreciate that. That's really cool. Um, being, th being that she did that, I did pay it forward, and I did uh, gift a copy to somebody else because I think that's the way things should happen. So uh, there we are. So yeah. Anyways, in the first game, you find this vault, and you're supposed to get all this treasure, but it turns out there's just a bad guy in there. You kill him, and that's basically the end of the game. Uh, and you know, there's a couple theories going around there, but. One that I particularly believe in is that, uh, you know, this... Well done. Your ability to walk short distances without dying will be Handsome Jack's downfall. <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing the whole time, I think. Uh, this planet... There we go. This planet is called Pandora, okay? So, you guys have probably all heard of Pandora's box, right? Come on, minion! I'm the Echo! Basically... I'm just not sure if I should be exploring a little bit more before I go in there. What's that little area? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sure, because what if there's something awesome over here, like a rocket launcher? No, fuck it. That was a waste. <laughs> uh, the, the first, well, this planet, I should say, is called Pandora. The vault, I'm thinking, might have been a reference to, like, Pandora's box. When you open Pandora's box, you don't know what the hell you're gonna get, so... I think that could be... I think that could be part of it. But... I could also be looking into things way too much. The sensitivity is pretty jacked up here, but I'm just gonna get used to it because 
I think that I'll be able to get better if my sensitivity is higher. <laughs> or when I spaz out, I'll be really spazzing out. Claptrap, man. Nice pad, brother. You could probably do without these dead guys here, though. Just saying. Uh, and by the way, this game actually looks awesome. I've got all the settings at maximum. Oh! Knuckle dragger, huh? I keep a pistol in the cabinet over there for emergencies. But in here, we should be pretty safe. Oh yeah. Oh here we go. What is this? Uh oh. <laughs> he shit, he just You're kidding me. He flew in and stole his eyeball. Shit! I feel so bad for him, man. Oh, here we go. Enter to collect the reward. Okay, I can inspect that. What's that gonna do? Oh, cool. hunters changed Pandora forever, but their time has passed. Thanks to Handsome Jack, Pandora. You can zoom in on all your guns. That's pretty sick. You could take some cool screenshots, I guess. Clap traps going a little bit batshit crazy, I think. He uh he might be losing his uh well I'd say marbles, but he might be losing his bolts at this point. Man, like I know this is kinda like a cartoony looking game, but holy shit. It looks really good. Maybe I'm just easily impressed because I've been playing consoles my whole life. That's the other thing, is that I actually... Man, they're just looting me up here. Like, this is like... This is like how you start a crack addiction. Um, I played this game on the PS3. And uh, in order to just get a feel for the mechanics or whatever, I actually played through it a little bit this week. Um, still, I've only put a couple hours into it, into the first one. Great. Just let me get this door open and we'll hunt ourselves a bully mob. All right. Let's get the bully mong. Windshed waste claptraps place. Okay, I will. Can't really go anywhere yet. Oh, I did miss it. He must have hit something. Now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Do I have an option to like yell at claptrap? Oh, okay. There we go. Shit, where are you going? What's going on there? You can't Please walk at all. The robot. He will help you get off this glacier and into the city of Sanctuary. That is the only place you will be safe. So I guess the thing is, is that these new vault hunters have nothing to do with the old vault hunters. However, we will probably run into some of the old... The <laughs> yeah, it's soothing all right. I wish you would have ripped out your vocal cords. <laughs> okay, this mission has an area waypoint. Area waypoints give you the general location of your objective, but you must search the area to find it. Okay, so defend Claptrap and retrieve his eye. Wow. Oh yeah, this is this feels good. Much better than the PS3. Holy shit. Like what a world of difference. Oh, it's automatic. I didn't even notice. Oh, way better. Okay. Could this be your eyeball? Nope. I didn't mean that big ass rock, I just meant, you know. Could it be in there? Oh man, I feel so bad for him. What's this shit? Is this a turret? <laughs> Sing. Oh, that funny little robot's help to reach sanctuary. 
the last bastion of the resistance against Jack, and the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to Sanctuary. Get to Sanctuary, okay, well. Objective number one. Okay. Defend clap. Where the shit did you go, buddy? Oh, hi there. A monglet. So this must be a crazy female. Hence why it's crazy. Or going, <laughs> hence why it's crazy. Obviously. Redundant sentence is redundant. Oh, wow. Come here. Let's slice you up, shall we? Oh, shit, brother. You okay? Uh oh, you're a brat, Bully Mong, hey? Where's the best place to shoot you? Oh, right in the face. In the face. There we go. Now get me out of here before more bully arrive. Many thanks, friend of friends. Onward. You're awesome, dude. Let's get your freaking eyeball, shall we? President of Hyperion. Oh, great. Let me explain how things work here. Vault Hunters show up, Vault Hunter looks for the new vault, Vault Hunter gets killed by me. You see, you see the problem here? You're still alive. So if you could just do me a favor and off yourself, that'd be great. Thanks, Pumpkin. <laughs> well, that's not a very nice thing to say there, Handsome Jack. You're more like Asshole Jack. Open. I think, anyways. I mean, you know, I complimented your looks at the start, I agreed, I thought you were handsome. Now I just think you're a giant dick. You just go ahead and kill yourself? Like, nobody says that. Oh, Pure I evil. No, I you're shitting me. Uh-oh. That's cool. He's got it around his neck. Knuckle dragger. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Should I be moving? Wow. Oh shit. Run! Okay, cool. Let's see. Oh shit. I gotta be careful where I'm going here, apparently. That actually worked. Oh, what in the hell? Woohoo! We got. This is heavy already! Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, health. There we go. Try to aim for the head. Shit. Man, other, uh, another gun would be fantastic. <laughs> Come on. Where'd he go? I was just playing Half-Life for so long, so every time I'm like close to dying, I feel like hammering on the F6 button right now. What? Oh no, we've got multiple dudes now. You assholes. I'm gonna have to mess with the key bindings a little bit because it's not quite natural for me. Come on. Oh, it does punch me back. Shit. Yeah, the critical hits are making a big difference for sure. I love that it throws you right into the action, man. Boom! Suck on that, Knuckle Dragger. Leveling up permanently increases the amount of health you have and the amount of damage you deal. It also immediately gives you full health and shields. I like it. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Where's your damn eyeball? Oh, shit. It blew up way over here. I'll get your eyeball, but I gotta get all my other stuff first. I like that you can just run through here and it'll pick stuff up. Instead of having to hold the E button. Because in the first one, uh, well, I was on a different thing. Ooh, nice. Switch weapons using mouse up and mouse down. Sweet, okay. 
And then... Oh, that's way better. Cool little animation, too. like that. Well, maybe... Maybe I do have to still pick them up. I thought it was picking them up on my own, but... Eh. Let's get this eyeball. <laughs> now we just gotta find someone to put it back into me. Much as I'm sure you'd like to jam your fist into my skull, optic <laughs> surgery is best left to professionals. I like yeah. Everlock and Lyersburg can fix me up. I'm on C. All right, so we're gonna go to find Hammerlock in the next episode. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. On the other side of this Hyperion barge. This Let's is. We cut through it, chum. Yeah, we will, pal. Just just wait a second. Let's get to. Ah, this door's Hyperion tech. Child's play. <laughs> Uh, this is a new game for me, so you guys have only seen me play Half-Life games, and, well, a couple of other smaller, uh, puzzle games, too, but, uh, if you guys could, I know I, I don't normally ask for this in my videos, but if you guys could drop a like on the video, that would mean a lot to show me how much you like it. And let me know if you guys are playing this game as well. I'm just gonna wait till this, this, uh, sequence is done. Okay. Please take whatever you need for the journey ahead. Cool. So in the next episode, we're gonna stock up and we're gonna uh, we're gonna start our journey to sanctuary. Roll out. Thanks everybody. Take care, minions. Roll out. You know, I complimented your looks at the start. I agreed. I thought you were handsome. Now I just think you're a giant dick. <laughs> <laughs>